Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and having a fabulous Sunday so far. So today's video is an ASOS try-on haul. I placed quite a big ASOS order on Saturday and it arrived first thing this morning so I was like, I am going to film it for you guys. I'm going to try everything on so you can see exactly how it looks. I'm also going to link to everything in the down bar so go and check that out. But this is one of these kind of online orders where I actually love everything that I got. So I kind of hate it when that happens because it makes me feel bad for spending lots of money but at the same time makes me really excited because I've got loads of great new stuff to wear. I'm also pretty sure that most of these things are in the sale at the moment so definitely go and check them out. I'll leave a link to them down below. Hopefully they won't have all sold out by the time this video goes up. Fingers crossed. So first up are the only pair of trousers that I've bought. Now I've never bought a pair of trousers from ASOS that I've really really liked. Normally they just don't fit right or I don't like the colour or they just don't suit me. But I am absolutely obsessed with these. Now the colour isn't picking up on my camera as much but they're like a really nice kind of like greeny blue. I think you'll be able to see the colour better in the cutaways but yeah this is such a unique colour of jean that I absolutely love and something I'm definitely missing from my wardrobe. So these are obviously from the petite section because I'm under five foot so I need kind of petite clothing otherwise everything looks massive on me. But these are the Ridley high-waisted jeans. Oh, and the shade is an amorous green blue, like mid-wash green blue. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I absolutely love them. I've got the shortest length available, which is 26, I think, and it fits me perfectly around the ankles. I got 28 for my waist, which is my size normally in Topshop jeans. And I'm just super happy with these. They're really comfortable. They've got a nice bit of stretch in them. And I think they were pretty much good for everything. So I'm chuffed that I found a pair of trousers on ASOS that I like. And I'm definitely going to be keeping these. Okay, so next up, I'm also loving this. It's a black kind of polka dot body. And it's from Miss Selfridge, but on ASOS. £25. I just... Oh, you guys know I love off the shoulder. That, that phase isn't going anywhere anytime soon. I do apologise. But I just think this goes so beautifully with those jeans. It's like just very casual. But I absolutely love with clothes like this you can kind of dress them up as well as down. So definitely team them with like leather trousers and like nice heels if I wanted to dress it up. It doesn't have a thong body which is perfect. I absolutely hate when I find a really nice body top and it's got a thong on the bum and it just like gives me a wedgie all day i can't deal with that so this doesn't do any of that it's got a nice like full brief bottom and yeah this is just going to be a staple all summer round i think great great little purchase okay so this was kind of like an impulse buy i was like oh i really like the color i love adding pastel into my wardrobe at the moment and i found this it's like a long sleeved jumper with a kind of polo neck is that what it's called no Tur turtle no roll neck it's a roll neck i couldn't i couldn't remember for the life of me what that, that was called pastel purple jumper kind of like ribbed detailing with a nice roll neck and i really like this i don't know how much wear i would get out of it but i just love the color it's just the most beautiful lilac very comfy very easy to wear i like that i can tuck my hair in and get it all out of my face so yeah, I am considering keeping this. Do let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you think I should keep it or not. I also quite like the length. It's quite long, so you can either tuck it into trousers or you can wear it with leggings and it would cover your bum, which is great. Okay, onto the first thing that I'm not too sure about. I do absolutely love this. I think it's beautiful. I would definitely like to add more yellow into my wardrobe. And I know that this mustard kind of color is very in as well as the polka dots, you are going to see that I have a big thing for polka dots at the moment. I just, like, my half of my wardrobe at the moment is polka dots. I just love them. And I love the style of this. It's a really nice kind of v-neck, fitted blouse, mustard yellow. It has cute buttons down the front. The only thing I'm not massively keen on are the sleeves. The tops are quite, like, puffy on the shoulder area and I don't really like that style so I think I am going to send this one back but I do really like it and if I was cool enough I would definitely keep this I just don't think I am one thing I should say with this is it has a zip on one side so it is super fitted really really nice and I got a size 8 and it fit perfectly so I would definitely say true to size. Let's do a cardigan now. This is definitely in the sale and it's actually been on my watch list on ASOS for I'd say actually a month and every time I was just like oh I'm not sure I don't know whether to add it into my basket but I went for it and I'm really glad I did. I love 
the colour of this, I think it's really unique, like a dusky pink. It goes so nicely with my kind of like grey lilac hair. It's kind of like a really light shaggy material. It isn't as soft as I thought it would be inside, it's quite rough. But I just love the colour and the shape and the style of it. It's kind of something you can chuck on with a t-shirt and jeans. I think I'm going to keep this because I just love the colour. One thing I should say though is it is malting everywhere. I don't know if you can see but there's like bits all up in all up in my grill at the moment from this. So something to keep in mind. I don't actually remember adding this to my basket. I don't know why I did. I love a cardigan. I love being comfortable. This one's really cute. It's just a nice plain black baggy cardigan really soft really snuggly this is something that i could just chuck on every day and be comfortable in but i do have quite a lot of kind of cardigans like this not in this color i don't have any black cardies like baggy like this but i feel like i can't justify keeping it because i do have a lot of black jumpers which i could easily wear instead but yeah this is super cute i love the threading detail it's kind of got it's kind of got like a white threading. I love the shape of the sleeves, they're really unique. Okay, these next two pieces I purchased because my friend, Emma, Milk Teeth, she has a blog. I'll leave her Instagram down below. She sent me a picture of her wearing this outfit from ASOS. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute, I need it. So I basically have copied her with this. The way this outfit was styled on ASOS looked so cool, so I wanted to try it myself. The first thing in the outfit is this gorgeous, long red polka dot kind of like maxi skirt i am very short i've said that before so it is very long me it does come down to my ankles but it's very tight fitting and it just emphasizes your kind of curves in all the right ways and i really like that and it was styled with this white ribbed off the shoulder top from bershka on asos both of them together just look so cool it's like with converse this is just like the ultimate like summer's day out picnic outfit and i just think it's super cute they also do this skirt in a black so i'll leave a link to that down below if any of you are a little bit scared of wearing color like i used to be i think black might be a nice alternative but I am also obsessed with this top. I think I was wearing it in a lot of the cutaways um, with those denim jeans. But it has nice ribbed detailing, some nice little frills around the kind of shoulder area and on the sleeves. It's just super, super cute. And I love Bershka as well. I think they're a great brand. Now this, I think, is out of stock on ASOS at the moment. Um, I added it to my basket and then it just disappeared off the site and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not or if I'm going to get an email after being like, oh, we've, we've sold out, sorry. So I purchased um, something very similar just in case that was to happen. Thankfully it didn't. But this is a nice alternative. It's an ASOS branded ribbed white off the shoulder long sleeved top. Very similar. The only difference is it doesn't have any like frilly detailing. Um, and also the colour's a bit different as well. And um, this one's more of like a cream and this is more of like a really crisp white colour. So yeah, I'll leave a link to this down below as well. I think it's a nice alternative if this has sold out to go with the skirt. And then I've got a kind of fancy occasion coming up and I wanted a new outfit for it. I decided to go with this jumpsuit again off the shoulder i am sorry if all of you hate off the shoulder i do apologize the reason i love it so much is because it hides the top of my arms and i do get quite self-conscious about the tops of my arms which is why i love off the shoulder because it hides that and um, and also because i like showing my shoulders off i think it's just a little bit sexy so yeah I did get this, it's a jumpsuit from a brand called Outrageous. I really like this because it's nice and tailored, it's very classic, very simple. But you can dress it up with heels or again just wear like converse with it and it would look super cool. The only problem I have with this is it was slightly too big for me. I got a size 8, I would actually tell you guys to size down on this because it has got a lot, look a lot a lot of stretch in it and the trousers are quite baggy as well and sh like it's just a generally stretchy material so might repurchase this in a size down let me know what you think of this oh i'm doing well i've only been filming for 15 minutes this is like the quickest asos haul i've ever done okay i've got two things left and they are both swimming costumes i definitely didn't need these but as i said i've have i've got a thing for polka dots <laughs> and i added these into my basket 
don't judge me, it's off the shoulder again. So this is the first swimming costume I picked up. It's a gorgeous kind of like burnt orange shade. I haven't really ever seen a shade like this. Definitely not in my wardrobe, very unique. But I really liked that it's off the shoulder and I also like that it, you can kind of wear it in two different ways. It has these removable straps on so you can either have it cold shoulder or completely just like boob tube style off the shoulder. I really like this. There weren't many sizes left on the ASOS website so I had to order a, a quite a weird size. I ordered a 32 double D. Now I am definitely not a double D. I think I'm a C. But all that means is it has a little bit of a like a booby, booby trap inside. <laughs> a booby trap. It's got a booby trap inside which will keep your boobs in place which is nice especially when you're swimming. I did do some swimming motion tests whilst wearing this breaststroke and it didn't feel tight or uncomfortable at all so yeah I like this a lot. It's just like a nice stylish swimming costume. The second cosy I got is from Pretty Little Thing. It comes in two parts. I think it comes to £18 in total. £8 for the bottoms, £10 for the top. And it's basically like polka dot mishmash. The bottoms are a nice high-waisted big polka dot. I really like these. They're very comfy. They make my bum look great. And the top is like a really strappy white small polka dot bikini top kind of like quarter neck as well and i really like them together i think it's very is it 60s 50s 60s i'm not entirely sure on whether to keep this or not because i feel guilty about keeping two swimming costumes when i already own so many but let me know what you think i would love to hear so that is everything i picked up do let me know what your favorite has been in the comments and if you are going to get any for yourself i would love to see kind of how you style some of these things up i have a weekly vlog going up on wednesday where you can see behind the scenes of me filming this video right here so do be sure to subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on wednesday Mwah.